Hey guys, it's Lisa here. So today I'll be doing something a little bit different. Um, as you can see, I have this massive box in front of me that I'm super excited to open. Um, it's filled with art supplies that I'll be using for my trip out west next week in the Colorado Rocky Mountains where I'll be doing some plain air painting. So this box is filled with art supplies for that. Everything from acrylic paints to pro panel canvases and other fun, awesome art supplies. So I'm super excited to open this. I hope you are too. Let's do this. All right. Open this guy up here. Can you see it okay? So. We have some brand new Charvin Extra Fine Acrylic Impressionist set. I'm so excited about this, guys. These are amazing. They're actually straight from Paris. These paints are made and mixed in Paris, and they are such high quality. I cannot wait to use these acrylic paints. I'm so excited about these. Okay. Um, Next we have these Protone panels, and so these are actually made for painting in plain air. As you can see, there's different neutral colors, so we have like this, this warm gray color. Sorry, the lights are kind of shiny. It might be a little difficult to see. Um, and then there's more of this, like a soft sand color with a little bit of green in it. Really, really pretty. Um, and then we have a neutral green sea foam color as well as this last one the Sahara which is more of like makes me think of like the red rocks in Arizona or something it's a beautiful color so stoked to paint on these there's three in each packet um, so that'll be that'll be awesome to use those out last but not least let me just pull this out so you guys can see better we have a new box of Charvin paints, which I am so excited about. You guys, seriously. This, this is so beautiful. This is also from Paris. So this is the same as, same company as these impressionistic sets, but this is, so this is the box set. Um, oh my gosh, I cannot, I seriously, I can't wait <laughs> to try these out. Look at how beautiful. We have a palette for mixing all of our paints. I love that little logo there. And then all, all of their primary colors. Um, oh man, these are just so awesome. Some palette knives. They've got a nice sharp line to them. Of course, a couple different brushes. So they're gonna be so great. Brand new brushes. We've got a nice range of sizes. A couple flat tips as well. This also comes with a nice charcoal pencil and a soft eraser, which is great for sketching before drawing. Um, but man, you guys, I just, I cannot wait. Um, I've heard so much about these paints. I haven't tried them yet, but I've continually heard that these paints are so similar. Even though they're acrylics, they're so similar to oils in that they are just buttery. These are the extra fine acrylic charbon sets. I cannot wait to start painting with these. And I love that it comes in a box set because I will be traveling and hiking and doing all that fun stuff. So. Um, the easier it is for me to carry, the better, because that way I can um, paint outdoors, pack everything up in a bag, and get to that really beautiful spot to paint the most beautiful thing possible. Alright guys, so in addition to this new um, set of art supplies that Jerry's just sent out with all of my acrylic sets, I'm also going to be packing a couple different things that um, I've already had, but I just wanted to share with you um, just in case you were wondering, you know, what, what should I bring on a trip when I'm 
wanting to go hiking or even um, go in the city and explore a little bit and sketch and whatnot. So I just wanted to kind of give you a rundown of some of the things I always bring whenever I go anywhere and want to be sketching and drawing. Um, so in addition to these, I'll also have at least one sketchbook. So I always use these Canson sketchbooks. Um, Canson or Strathmore, both are great brands, but I like these because they're small enough. I believe this is an 8 by 10 I want to say. So I'm always sketching in some of these. Even on the airplane actually, this is usually my favorite thing to pull out and do a quick sketch. As you can see, just uh, I've taken it to a lot of random different places. This is California, Colorado. Montana. So these are great. Um, something that is a little bit bigger is this Reflections 11 by 14 sketchbook, which is not as easy to access while on a plane, but it is awesome to bring if you have room for it in your suitcase because the size of this allows you to do um, to work with a lot more room. But like even this, I was able to do four different spots, I didn't do that one yet, but four different spots of um, thumbnail sketches, whereas this would have allowed me to only fit one in. So yeah, these are great, or doing these bigger mountain sketches before actually going in and painting them. I always use this Charvin Paris pencil case. But yeah, I, I love this pencil case. Um, I always end up bringing at least a couple of different mechanical pencils. Those are still my favorite to sketch with. But um, I'll usually also bring like one traditional pencil. This is a Blackwing. Some of my different mechanical pencils I'll use are, um, I love Statler. That's like one of my one of my favorite brands for mechanical pencils. So I have a couple of those as well as the Sakura and this was actually a Delphonics pencil that I got in Vancouver. These are kind of hard to find. So I, I always have a couple of different pencils to choose from as well as um, a Vanish eraser works great. And you know, I have this kneaded eraser that I've had for honestly probably 10 years. <laughs> um, I'll use it sometimes when I need to just erase a small thing and I can kind of break it up and erase it, but I typically just use my Vanish eraser. And then I always, always, always carry a handful or or a whole jar full <laughs> of Micron pens, so these things are great as well. Um, I also will be bringing an easel, which is important. Um, here is the Paris Travel easel, which I've had this for a couple of years as well. I brought this out to Oregon and a lot of different places and it sets up really nicely. All the legs actually get tucked away in the back like that. And then it opens up real nice and it feels like you just created a studio outdoors. Well that's about everything that I'll be bringing to Colorado at the end of this week. So. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. I'll be um, periodically checking through the comment section and trying to answer any questions that you guys have. Thanks again for watching, guys.